Paul Conaway writes in and says, uh, I'm trying to find a C2C cable for my car. I have a USB-C port near where I'm placing my iPhone 15 Pro Max, good choice, Paul, in the dash and console area. So what's the best cable for CarPlay? I, I was, it's funny, I was recently having this conversation uh, when I talked with the folks at the Tucson Mac Users Group. I have been using, like many of us, have been using a cable in the car to charge my phone for a long time. And, and then, of course, one for CarPlay, which... Uh, you know, means I'm plugging it in all the time and I want the cable easily accessible because I don't have wireless car play. Uh, it, but I don't like when a cable is just like dangling all over the place, especially when it's raining or it's in the winter when there's like snow on the ground, because invariably I will get into my car and grab this cable and the end of it is like sitting in a puddle of salty, slushy snow water. Right. You know, and so Years ago, I thought there must be a better way. And I, I found it in uh, in coiled cables. And and for anybody who's watching the video, I've put it up here. Uh, but uh, the Amazon links to the coiled cables of your choice are in the show notes. We've got, you, you know, A to lightning, C to lightning, C to C. Obviously, you got to pick the one that, you know, that works for your car and device. But having these coiled cables, and I just bought, another one recently because I moved from a lightning connector on my phone to a USB-C connector on my phone uh, is it, it's a game changer because it's a three foot cable that when it's coiled up, it takes all of about, you know, six or seven inches or something like that. And it, it, ta it stays like nice and tidy in the dash. In fact, it's so nice and tidy. I have two USB ports in my car. I have both cables, Lightning and USB-C, plugged into my car full time, and it doesn't bother me. So maybe that is the best testament I can give to That's these. That's nice. For those yeah, listening yeah. and are old enough to remember, it looks like the old uh, telephone receiver cable that used to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that's knots. where my brain went years ago. It was like, wait, why doesn't somebody make a coiled cable for this? Like, th that's what I would want. Like, you know. Right. So uh, evidently. They do. Good news. So, yep. Yep. I, uh, I think the best cable is no cable, though. I Okay. Well, is that what you do in your car, Adam? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I couldn't believe it. And I, 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 I might have made this a pick on the last MGG, sort of an audible. Uh, yep. This might have also come up. So I've been using the car link kit adapters that you get on Amazon. It's, and I thought they would never work but a listener told me about them and said they're great and uh it's just a little dongle you plug in uh and you put it into the usb thing and you pair it with your bluetooth and you have wireless carplay and it Boom. really does work huh it really does work uh it, oh. i have very rarely have quirks with it some it is slow to connect sometimes so okay. you have to be patient but sure sure um, and I think I have the 2.0 or 3.0 version. I think they're up to 5.0 now. So it just yeah, they're keeps up to like 4.0, 5.0. It looks oh. like a, around a hundred bucks. And yeah, I thought it would never work. I saw it on actually nine to five. They tried it out and reviewed it, said it worked. Yeah. Like, yeah, okay, yeah. I'll, give, I'll give it a shot. Sure. And it's brilliant. Cause I have the wireless charging pad in my thing. So I just throw my phone down, it connects and I have wireless CarPlay in my non-wireless CarPlay car. Really? And it, yeah, it's uh, it's available on Amazon at the moment that we're doing this. It's the the price is eighty five seventy nine, and then there's a twelve dollar coupon. No kidding. Wow. That huh. Is fascinating. Cool. Yeah, I gotta I gotta look into this. Like it, I I, I looked into one of these early early on. And it wouldn't work with my, I have a Subaru and they were like, oh yeah, but it doesn't work with Subaru. But I have heard from people you do need that to check that, you yeah. know, that, yeah, that, that it, it does now, but yes, check, check that before you, uh, before you go and buy, well, either way, I'm going to go ahead and add that to my, to my cart there <laughs> just I, so I don't I, forget I, about I went this. I for my Ford and it worked. Yeah. yeah. I was surprised that it worked. Cause I thought there's no way.